Chainsaw Man has a movie coming soon. It's time for the latest news out of Japan. Chainsaw Man doesn't stay dead, and neither does his anime. Leakers have confirmed that both a second season of the show and a full-length movie are in the works. Fans are rejoicing at this news. While season one of the anime was popular among viewers, there were persistent rumors that low Blu-ray sales would hurt its chances at returning. The confirmation that the show's still going strong has gotten the fandom extremely excited. To people watching closely, however, the second season isn't surprising. Chainsaw Man's anime was financially successful, and Studio Mappa retains full rights to profit and licensing from it. That's a significantly better deal than most anime studios get. It's only natural that Mappa would continue with the franchise if at all possible. They also have plenty of manga left to adapt. Season 1 of Chainsaw Man only reached chapter 38 out of a current 133. News of the movie is a much bigger shock. It makes sense if Mappa wants to try and make Chainsaw Man more popular. They're likely looking at the success of Kimitsu no Yaiba. The Mugen Train movie helped the show's already growing popularity skyrocket, but Mugen Train told a standalone story that casual fans could just walk in and enjoy. You didn't need to know much about Demon Slayer to follow Mugen Train. There's not an easy option for a film like that in Chainsaw Man. The manga, up to chapter 97, is tightly serialized, each arc leading immediately into the next one. The manga up to chapter 97 is tightly serialized, each arc leading immediately into the next. That's why author Tatsuki Fujimoto labels that part of Chainsaw Man as part one. There are distinct stories, the Bomb Devil arc and the International Assassin's arc that could theoretically be adapted. However, making any of these stand alone would require substantial editing, as well as likely some expansion. That leaves two main alternatives for MAPPA to consider. This could be a compilation movie, using the existing animation and some extra work to retell the events of Season 1 as a film. That would take significantly less resources and expose Chainsaw Man to a fresh audience, but fans who've already seen the anime likely won't feel enthusiastic about watching it again. Alternatively, this could be an original story, one that doesn't rely on the manga's continuity and thus is something casual viewers could enjoy. There is a time skip between Chapter 97 and Chapter 98. It would be easy to insert a new plot into that time frame, and that version of Chainsaw Man's status quo would be easy to explain. It would be impossible to do that, however, without spoiling Part 1, however. Even if the story doesn't reference Denji's past directly, the implication of which characters are no longer around would be extremely telling. If this is the studio's intent, the film is likely on the back burner. The most optimistic release window for it would be after a two-core second season. The anime would need at least that much time to reach the end of part one, so dedicated fans could come up to date in time for an original movie. Either way, hopefully this film will be as big as the Black Clover movie, which is currently going wild on Netflix!